Hey guys, Tony here at Dirtfish Rally School. Uh, today I'm going to show you our 2015 WRX STI rally car. It's built for the limited four-wheel drive championship for the American Rally Association here in the United States. There's a lot of modifications that go into it to get it to where it is today. I'm going to start underneath the hood here. A couple of different things going on here. We've actually backdated the engine. We're using an EJ20. It's a little bit stronger of an engine in our thoughts, so we're using a two liter. A lot of things are simplified. Our intake piping is super short, which means very good throttle response and torque and things like that. Obviously with the, with the rotated manifold, we're running a front mount intercooler, and that's gonna help a lot of things. Mostly our intake air temps. Um, the colder the engine is, the more power it's gonna make. Um, so it's really good to get the intercooler in the front instead of up top here where it, a stock car is and it's getting heat soaked from the turbo. So the other thing with the front mount intercooler there is we have a custom radiator below it. Along with the two liter, we're using also a different turbo. It's still a Subaru turbo, but we're actually using the VF36 twin scroll turbo. So that turbo was only available on Japan spec Subaru STIs. The nicer thing is it's twin scroll, so it makes a lot more torque and it fits within the rule set of the limited class. Moving over here, along with the cooling package, you can see this is actually our oil cooler. It's got a spall fan on the back of it that pulls air off the oil cooler and then proper ducting on the hood to get that hot air out. So moving along, we're gonna move to the inside of the car and take a look at some of the features on the inside. All right, so much like the engine bay, it doesn't look like a stock STI in here. Obviously, we can have the full US spec roll cage that we did in-house here, extended steering column, switch panel here, and all of our electronics. So I'll kind of go through each of those and explain things. For our ECU, we're using a MoTeC M150, and that runs all of our engine and fuel pump and things like that. The other electronics that go with that is the keypad. So here I can hit buttons and turn turn our screen on and things like that, like turn our ignition or our fuel pump, headlights, all kinds of stuff. It's all controlled right here on this MoTeC keypad. In the center here is our MoTeC display. So that's gonna tell the driver if there's warnings, it's gonna give them their RPMs, what gear they're in, coolant temperature, all kinds of stuff. It literally tells us everything about the engine, which is really nice. Over here, we have our gear indicator. So that's gonna tell the driver uh, what gear they're in. Um, there's also a shift light above that. so. We can go through the gears and it'll say one through six. Along with the electronics, um, kind of relates to transmission. So in this car, we have a PPG sequential transmission. To drive it, um, all I have to do is use the clutch to get going. Um, after that, I can just pull the lever backwards or forwards for upshift or downshift. The technology in this is really good with the MoTeC. We can actually make shifts in 30 milliseconds, which is incredibly fast. It's super important for the driver because they can keep their their left foot on the brake and their right foot on the gas, and they can keep driving. They don't need to, to add a clutch in or anything like that. Next to this, we have a hydraulic handbrake. Super comfortable and easy to use. Along with everything in the, in the car, we've got OMP safety seats, belts, the full spec roll cage, roll bar padding. There's a lot of co-driver features in this car. Um, for example, there's a, a map light here. They can see their notes for the night stages. There's a Monet GPS here. And this is for tracking mileages and speeds on stage and things like that. In this car, we, we don't use the factory pedals anymore. We're actually using a tilt and pedal box. So the pedal box is floor mounted. So um, they mount from the floor. Normal pedals swing up. These ones actually swing down. So they're super easy to service. They're super adjustable. There's separate master cylinders for each circuit. So that's really important in rally. If, if you lose a front brake line, you'll actually still have rear brakes or vice versa. If you lose a rear brake line, you still have front brakes. Um, that's super important for not, for not wrecking and staying on the road. Next, I'll hop out and show you the, the brake calipers that we use that goes along with this brake system. All right, so brakes are super hard on rally cars. Um, obviously they're going through a lot, but the craziest thing is, is they're really small. The rally tires are 15 inch to keep them super strong. So that means the wheel has to be 15 inch. So you can't fit a whole lot of brake under a 15 inch wheel. So we've engineered a design here that works with a, a pretty big PFC performance friction caliper and it utilizes a, a little bit bigger rotor than stock, a lot bigger caliper and a lot bigger pad surface. 
So just over the calipers here are our Method Race wheels. They're the 15 inch wheel that's gonna fit the rally tires. It's a lot stronger than a stock wheel and it's gonna last up to all these hits that we're seeing on the rally stages. On top of the wheels are the, the, the Hoosier Rally tires. It's a 205, 65, 15. They're super important for what we do. Um, believe it or not, the tires almost act as part of the suspension. You can see how aggressive the tire is. That's gonna help bite down in the gravel, get the driver the grip they need. And you can see how aggressive the sidewall bite is too. Just beyond that is the suspension. So we're using a Ryger Racing suspension. Very high quality stuff. They make a lot of the suspension for the top WRC cars these days. It's also super adjustable. So I can adjust things like high speed compression, low speed compression, rebounds, spring rate, adjust the height of the car, all kinds of things like that to make the car perform better or certain ways in certain situations and tailor the car to a, to a certain driver that whoever's driving the car. The other cool feature about this is it has a rebound control valve. What that's trying to do is keep the tires on the ground at all times. So as it feels no load on the suspension, like if the car is getting light or going over a crest, it's gonna try and drop the suspension and keep the tires on the ground as long as possible and give the, the driver the most grip. So next up on the car are some body pieces and body protection. As you can see, um, we mount our bumpers a little bit differently. Um, the OE clips just, just don't quite do it. So we make a mounting structure that the bumpers bolt to and then it's super strong. I can't, I can't rip the bumper off or anything like that. So that makes it last a lot longer and it's super rugged. Looking inside the wheel well, you can see our custom uh, fender liners. These are a lot stronger than the OE plastic and they won't rip and shred or, or rip out when you hit a water crossing and things like that. Per rally rules, you have to have mud flaps on all drive wheels. So you can see our, our custom mud flaps and our mounting structure. And moving further back is our underbody. So this is a HDPE plastic. We build a mounting structure underneath that allows the plastic to bolt to it. Um, and then we can change it out every couple rallies if it's getting rashed out or every other rally, whatever needs to be done. The plastic's actually pretty inexpensive, so it's a really good tool to keep the bottom of the car from getting rashed out or beat in. Moving up, we actually have Lexan windows all the way around the car. This is gonna keep some of the weight out of it and are super functional for the driver. This one's actually got a little slider. If they need a little air, if they need to hand their time card out of the window, this works pretty good. So another weird feature with this car is we had to cut a lot of sheet metal and a lot of weight out of it to make it super competitive. Um, so this thing's right on the cusp of the weight limit for the rule set. So there's actually no rear speaker tray in the car. So there's no hinges for the trunk. So the trunk actually comes all the way off. So it adds one more little step to get it off, but it's super lightweight. There's no more metal up in here and hinges and all kinds of stuff. So that allows me to get back here. Um, normally there's a spare tire here, but you can see the jack. There's some suspension adjustments we can make on the top of the suspension. Batteries back here, it's relocated to the back. Um, so there's lots of stuff we can do back here. Usually the tools are back here too. So that's an in-depth look at our 2015 WRX STI rally car. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and we'll be happy to answer those.